Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you. So in our previous video we have discussed about the components of food that in that we have discussed about the vitamins okay and today we will see the next components in our food that is nothing but what minerals okay so like the vitamins minerals also very important for our body it also requires in a less quantity but its role is very important or it plays a vital role in our development and the growth of the body okay so these minerals also required in a very less quantity but it is necessary for the proper functioning to keep our body healthy and to maintain our body and the proper development of our body these minerals are required okay so this mineral do not supply energy to our body this mineral do not supply any energy to our body but still it is necessary for our body because of the proper functioning of the body and like vitamins this minerals also helps to fight against the different diseases okay and that is the reason that vitamins and mineral both togetherly called as what protective food okay so let's discuss which are the minerals and what are their sources and the functions okay so let's move forward the chart here in the chart you can see the different types of the minerals you can see the sources and the functions okay so one by one we will discuss about that each and every mineral so the first mineral we are going to see that is what calcium okay so let's see the which are the sources of calcium from where we are getting the calcium so the calcium we are getting from the milk cheese green leafy vegetables eggs whole grain cereals and meat okay so from all this food material from all these food stuffs we are getting the mineral that is nothing but what calcium again i will repeat milk cheese egg green vegetables whole grain cereals and meat from all these things we are getting the mineral that is nothing but what calcium okay so let's see what is the function of calcium and the functions of calcium are essential for formation and hardening of bones and teeth okay so this calcium mineral is essential for the formation of proper functioning and the formation and the hardening okay to develop and to make it very strong for that purpose we requires the calcium and what to prepare or what to make very hard our bones and teeth okay essential for the formation and hardening of our bones and the teeth so because of the calcium our bones and teeth becomes very strong okay next one is that plays a vital role in the clotting of blood that is very important students keep in your mind that that calcium minerals plays a vital role in the formation of or in the clotting of the blood now clotting of the blood means what see sometimes we are having the cuts on our body okay and that time the blood started to comes out from our body but after certain period of the time the blood gets stops or from that wound the blood get starts uh, stops to come out okay why this happens how that clot is from on the cut because of the calcium so this calcium helps to stop the flow of the blood from our body that is only we are calling as what clotting of blood okay is after certain period of the time the blood stops to come out from on the wound okay how that blood get clot there because of the calcium okay so in this way this calcium is very important for the clotting of the blood okay next one mineral we will discuss that is nothing but what phosphorus okay so this phosphorus we are getting from milk cheese green vegetables bajra nuts liver and ragi okay so from all these things we are getting the phosphorus mineral okay and what is the function of phosphorus mineral we are the function of the phosphorus is mineral mineral is what formation of strong bones and teeth okay so it makes or it forms the healthy strong bones and the teeth okay next one which is very very important and the uh, important mineral that is nothing but what iodine okay so as we know from where we are getting the iodine we are getting the iodine only from iodized salt okay or the more amount of the iodine we are getting from the iodine iodine iodized salt okay next one that is what seafood is also there and green leafy vegetable that is also the source for the 
iodine okay and let's discuss about the function of iodine what is the function of iodine so this iodine is essential for the formation of thyroxine hormone okay so this iodine is essential for the formation of thyroxine hormone now what is mean by hormone listen properly students what is mean by hormone hormone these are the substance which are responsible or which enhance the growth and development of our body which helps for the development and the growth of our body so like that so many hormones are secreted in our body among that thyroxine is one is there okay so this iodine helps for the formation of thyroxine hormone and who secreted who formed that thyroxine hormone see this there he in this neck region there is one gland present and the name of that gland is what thyroid gland okay so in this neck region the thyroid gland is present which secreted the thyroxine hormone okay which secreted the thyroxine hormones okay so let's see why this thyroxine hormone is important which are their roles okay this hormone controls the physical mental and sexual development of our body okay so this thyroxine hormone controls the physical growth and development and also mental growth and development also the sexual development of our body it controls okay or it develops all these physical mental and the sexual growth and the development of a human being okay so this is the function of iodine minerals okay so it helps to form the thyroxine hormone hormone means for these are the substances which enhance the growth and development of the body and the thyroxine hormone is secreted by it for getting prepared by the thyroid gland which is situated in the neck region okay so in this way it is helpful for the proper development or it controls the growth and the development of our physical mental and the sexual growth okay now the next one mineral we will discuss that is nothing but what iron okay so let's see from where we are getting the iron which are the sources of the iron so the sources of the irons are green leafy vegetables legumes spinach and jaggery okay so all these are the sources of the iron from all these things we are getting the iron and what is the function of the iron essential for the formation of hemoglobin in the blood okay so this iron is essential for the formation of hemoglobin which is a one part or which is the one substance which is present in our blood okay it helps the, the, for the formation of hemoglobin in the blood so who helps to formation of hemoglobin in the blood which minerals that is nothing but what iron iron minerals helps for the formation of hemoglobin in the blood okay so this is all about today today we have discussed about the minerals which minerals we have discussed we have discussed about calcium phosphorus iodine and iron okay so in this way vitamins and minerals both are called as what protective food so so this is all about today we will discuss the next point in the next video till then goodbye for today thank you